have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Yeah, now you know. Yeah. We'll see episode one. Yeah. Fucking see episode two. Shit. There was a guy there. We were awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she We have a vet. We could bring her. Well, hold you on. Hey, well, let's oh, say all there now. Oh, yeah. Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. No, I don't know. I don't know. Go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'd be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? They look like characters from Sopranos. Why don't I mm, maybe they are. and round oh. up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. Where's that gun hanging on here? It's a strap. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think so. Mark, oh, this is video game logic. Why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. Hey, they spelled defense with a C. Can you find hmm. out what you can from Andy? D They're British. D dance. All right. Well, let's talk for a little bit. I want to hear what else so is what going on. Found out? Is this looking like a good oh, place you just want to. Now keep looking around. All right. Keep me posted. All right. What time's night coming down? Hmm? What time's night coming down? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm like, whenever they're done with their stuff. Um, probably by now. Matt's, Matt has no interest in this, though, because he's a douche, so. We're going to be here for a while. Alright. You want to play all three games in, in, in the one game? I'm going to try as much as I can. I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Melee would help. Yeah. Uh... We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. Yeah. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. 
We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Yeah. Like us. I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. Hey, I still got that set of crackers. Yeah, crackers. Wait. Yes? No? I don't know what you got. Got some. Look like a pie. No, it's cracker. Oh, let's look at this fence. That's quite the fence. Uh, if that's not foreshadowing, I don't know what that is. <laughs> like, I could see Duck pretending he's Superman. He jumps off that bridge and nice. he just... Bleh! Yeah, that could totally happen. This duck's pretty fucking stupid. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Saw some wood on the other side. Ha, <laughs> you said wood. Hey, I said I saw some wood. Ha, <laughs> you saw some wood. On the table. <laughs> it's on the table. Is there any way I can fix that to not make it sound the way you're making it sound? Probably not. <laughs> hey, look, a saw. No, yeah, that's not sexy at all. Are you that. serious? Yeah, I can look, some boards. It, it, yeah, let's look for some boards. Huh? Let's look for some boards. Where the board this is, is the at? door of the explorer right here. Do you guys see the boards? Hey, oh, hey, do you guys see the boards? No, they're over there. Where? There. There. Over the here. Fence. Yay. Yeah. Already making some repairs, huh? I like the guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Well, maybe he is a nice guy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it's already the perfect size. And it goes into video game space! <laughs> it goes into his those, back pocket! It goes into his pockets! Oh, I love this game so much. I, oh, like. If, if I could, like, have any one thing from a video game that wouldn't be dangerous, it would be, like, the magic pair of pants that most people have. Yeah. That can store everything. All this shit. Yeah. Link has it. Apparently, Lee has it. Yeah. Oh, good, but I need some rope. Oh, wait, yeah. Doi, I'm, I'm an idiot. Well, rope, rope, rope. Water, the feeling is inside the house. Or around the house. I'll use the wind chime. Use yeah, the wind chime. He's on the front porch of my house going up. Hope the noise doesn't attract any unwanted guests. That is true. I mean, if they take that out, they can probably, like, avoid so much more monster, um, zombies. Yep. Zambimbo's awards. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. Mama, you were done after dad. <laughs> My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Hmm. Where's your daddy? I don't know what the fuck. Where, good question. Where the fuck is he? Anyway, that's a okay. Oh, you're not an Arizona native either, so I can't really complain to you about this. Freaking, there's there's almost no two story houses out here in Arizona. No. Like I rarely see them. Well, that'd be in Scottsdale, like like a Rubensville place. I guess, but even so. Or, yeah, you're like that place. Not for the normies here. Hi, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? I'm hungry. I mean, 
Yeah, can I help with the... But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Uh... Would it be rude to ask how many rooms are in this... Actually, no, for the case. Rooms? Why did you ask? Well, I'm just getting home. Yeah, you know, it's whatever. Well, I should have Well... Oh, well, just curious, I guess. Let's not start thinking too far ahead now. Let's just focus on getting y'all a good home-cooked meal tonight. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, she, she didn't like that. Yeah. Did me too. Fuck, I forgot to ask for rope! Yeah, whatever. Well, she's not down there right now. See, part of me thought it would be rude to ask. God, they have rope and this is gonna be a noose. Like, oh, thanks. Yeah. Thanks for that. But um, yeah. Part of me thought it'd be rude, but then I thought, oh, but maybe I should know if they're if they're serious about us joining up. I guess they're not. I guess she's not. So that might be another sense of foreboding. That's the place. The fence runs around the entire property. Touches the house. Gotcha. Oh. Yep. Can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Not touching that fence. I'm still trying to find damn rope. It's like, I'll give you some rope you touch that fence. Wait. Yes, my rope. Either I'm grossly overlooking it, or it's one of those things where I have to wait until later. Yeah, maybe. Well, let's talk to him about it a little bit. Hey. The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. How you said post? <laughs> no, I can't keep posted. All right. Is this gonna be a thing? <laughs> like, how you said swing. Gonna post here on that. Uh, the post was pointing, and you said post. What if I cut this rope in half and just make it a really high swing? I, that's not. How, that's not safe. What if they swing right in the fence? like, get it to turn and swing right into the fence. Oh. <laughs> okay, if that happened to Clementine, uh, that'd be really, really, really sad that'd and be wrong. Fucked up. But if it happened to Duck, it'd be like an episode of Jackass. Yeah. If it happened to Larry, it never happened to Larry. But Why would it have happened to Larry? I, just, I wish it did. <laughs> I just wish it did. Alright, let's go around the house. Hi. Hi. Let's go fix the perimeter. I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. <laughs> Hell, did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. It's true. Because he is. I try to be civil, at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. Oh. Oh, hey there. This one. With a bow and arrow, though. Yeah. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. What, was it a zombie? Yeah, that's a zombie. What zombie? I'm not moving now, though. Looks like he's stuck. Wait, where the ask go? He literally just had it a, f a second ago. In his back pocket, we know this. 
All right. see John Ford. So using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. I have to pull the arrow out. Sure. Might come in handy. Disgusting. Now he should be able to move, though. All right, get him. Like a husk from Mass Effect. Yeah. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Hmm... What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. This one's almost completely over. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. Alright. I can suck it up. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. That idea. Well, are you sure that's a good idea? Hey, hey, hey. Is that really a good idea? A little help here, Lee? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Yeah, yeah. How are you gonna get over though? Like once it's back. Oh wait, he—they he, did say they um. Turn off the power. Yeah. It's been a while. Mash, 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 mash. Holy fuck! Oh hey. The fences are on. See? I knew it! I knew it! Oh shit! What? Those dudes are armed. Fucking knew it! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Oh, I'm Blades are stuck in the dirt. Can't me I can do this all day. Well, the blades are stuck in the dirt. How do we get get out? I see you. Behind you, guys. Did you really think you could fuck with us? The blades are stuck in the dirt. Give us the food! Over there! Oh shit. I have Yeah. Well, how the fuck can I move it then? You need to unhook it. Yeah, I know that, but fucking won't let me. I'm hooking there. Oh, hey. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. No, I gotta calm down. Gotta lay me out. Where'd it go? 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 Oh 
shit! Man, they're on you. Fuck! Still not enough. Oh, is there a break point? Slider right here. Oh no! There's a thing in the oh, way. Oh boy! What happened? Shit! It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. I don't like this. Yeah, neither do I. Son of a bitch! 